Hey, Nyakun here. Welcome to OB Studios. In today's video, I want to show you five things that I think you should do before you start designing your website with Breakdance Page Builder. So this is a fresh install of WordPress. There's nothing on it. Um, with my hosting accounts with pre-installed, these are pre-installed like plugins that I'm not going to use, so I've deleted them. But now I want to install Breakdown, so that is what I'm going to do. So we are installing Breakdance Page Builder plugin. So we finished installing our plugin. The next thing is to activate it. All right, so after activation, that is where your first thing that you need to do. You'll be presented with this um, Breakdance setup widget. Whatever that you choose over here will be really important when it comes to um, styling your website. So let's say uh, it gives you an option to disable your theme and then also keep your theme. What are the, the upside and the downside of these two things? So when you disable your theme, according to the text, it says design every part of your site with breakdance. Disabling your theme gives you the best performance and maximize flexibility. So let's say um, you went to, like you found a theme on the web. Let's use a theme like Astra. So you found Astra and then you want to use Astra on this website with Breakdance. Okay, so the best thing that Breakdance is offering you is that even though you want to use Astra, Breakdance doesn't want you to do that. You can install the plugin all right, but Breakdance wants you to disable the theme. And when you disable the theme, every style that comes with Astra is stripped away, meaning that you won't be able to see the effect of the theme that you have installed on your website. That is what disabling the theme causes. The next thing is keeping the theme. When you keep the theme, you will be able to use the features that comes with the theme. Some might not be compatible with breakdance, so it might not um, usually work, but those that are compatible with breakdance, you might be able to see them when you use the theme. So over here, which one should you pick? If you want to design your website and every inch of it, the best option here is to disable the theme because breakdance is flexible enough for you to recreate anything that you think that you want to use whether natively or if you want to add a bit of code you'll be able to do that but let's say that you want to do all those fancy php things what should you do let's say you do not really want to use a theme and then uh, let the theme break the site what you can do is that you can keep your theme and then install a child theme breakdown has a child theme link that you can go on their GitHub website, their GitHub repository, I said the right word, and then download the child theme and then use it for the fancy PHP stuff that you want to do. They also have a breakdown zero theme that you can install. So even if you click on keep the theme and you want, you don't really want to use any, any other theme, but something that is sanctioned by breakdance, you can use the breakdown zero theme. So that is the first thing that you want to do. Either you disable for a full flexibility or you enable and then you use the theme that you're using. But I'll recommend you to use disabling the theme. So that's what we're going to do. If you have your license key, you can also put your license key over here. So let's click on the finish setup. So that is the first thing that you want to do. So we finished installing and then we have done our first thing. So after doing this, the next thing that I want you to do is to go to your appearance and then click on themes. All right, remember that we disabled the theme. By disabling the theme, it causes every theme that is already installed on your website to gray out, meaning that Breakdance is forcing WordPress not to use the themes that you have installed already, meaning that those things wouldn't work. Most servers, most hosting give you like a pre-install um, 
theme already. And also, WordPress also comes with pre-installed themes like the 2020, the 2021, and then the 2022 um, themes. These ones, we are not using them at all. So what I will recommend for you to do is to go in and delete them one after the other. All right, so as you can see, we have deleted everything that was included. But the, the trick is that even though Breakdance is saying that it's a zero theme and that is happening, you, you still need a theme for WordPress to work. That is why this Breakdance zero theme is pre-installed when you click on disabling the theme. So disabling theme is not necessarily about disabling theme. is 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 definitely about Breakdance giving you a theme that is compatible with breakdown. So make sure you delete all the other things that are installed. You can delete this because you need one theme for WordPress to work. So this one is installed default by breakdown. The next thing that you would want to do, especially if you are going to work with WooCommerce, is to go on the breakdowns and then click on settings. All right, so over here, what I want you to do if you are working with WooCommerce is to come here and make sure that this thing is enabled. Why do you want to keep it enabled? Because if you disable it, you might not be able to customize your website as it should. Do not disable this, this thing. Do not put on disable if you really want to customize your website with breakdance because breakdance needs this to be enabled for you to be able to customize your website as much as you can so make sure that breakdance woo commerce styles are enabled if you didn't touch it then that is okay but if you changed it to disabled make sure that you enable it and then you save your changes. The next thing that you would want to do is post types. So you are still in the setting panel of your breakdance um, setting. Over here, when you come down, you're gonna see post types. Let's click on that. So post types, um, what are post types? Let's start from that. We're not gonna get like into details or, or anything like that, but um, defaultly, there are a lot of post types, like comments can be a post type, pages are post types, and then post is also a post type. Probably they could have made this a bit better by saying blog. That might make it more, more simpler. But yeah, so these are like post types that are already included in WordPress. So over here, why should you uh, be bothered with this? So let's say you are going to give a client this website after you finish doing it. And then you do not do anything over here. Your client might go to, let's say, that your client wants to like do a post, right? And they want to publish a post. They might go to the post. And then let's say the post name is Hello World. So they, they click on Hello World. All right. So let's say your client didn't get a package where you show them around and they want to figure it out by themselves they might click on edit with breakdance because it's a shiny yellow button everybody might want to click on that so they will think that this is how you do it they might click on this and it will take them into breakdance panel and they might freak out a little so for you to be able to remove that button over there you go to you have on breakdance and you go to settings then you go to your post type if you don't check anything here, by default, these yellow buttons will be shown in every other post type that you have. Let's say you have a post type called services. You might see that. So you want to come in and then make sure that you only click on the ones that you want to keep the yellow buttons over there. The one that you want to use breakdance to customize. If you do not want to customize the post with breakdance, uncheck it. So right now I'm going to uncheck for, I'm just going to check for the um for the page and then I'm going to save it. When I do that and I go back to the post, right, and I click on Hello World, 
you're going to see that the yellow button over here is no more there because I have disabled the yellow button for the post post type. That is, that is why you do that. So the last but not the least, that I think is really important if you are going to get your website started and you're going to start building your website. One, one more thing that you should do is go have on a breakdance and go to settings. And in the settings panel, you're going to look for maintenance mode. All right. So in the maintenance mode, this is where you are going to create a coming soon or a maintenance page. So let's say you are building your website. Your website will be ready in like three to four days or probably in a month. You don't want someone going and typing in www.yourwebsitename.com and your website looks like it's still being worked on. So what you want to do is to set up a page that everybody will see that will welcome them. You welcome them and say, hey, probably um, coming soon. We're working on something like something that is not the main website. So that is why this is important. Make sure that you have set up a maintenance page for you to do that. You have to choose one. What are you doing? Are you maintaining the website or you're coming soon? So coming soon is telling Google that your website is not ready to be indexed. Maintenance means that, oh, you're just making a few changes and Google can still come in and pick up stuff. So you have to know which ones to choose. Do not choose coming soon when your website is already live. You don't want Google not to make things, uh, not to come and clock. Is it crawl on your website when you want them to do that? So make sure you choose coming soon if your website is now coming and you're still building it. And you choose maintenance if your website is already live, but you already, you're just making a few changes and you'll be back. So we're going to choose coming soon so, because this is a fresh install. After that, this one deals with pages. So let's choose this and then click on save, right? And then come over here. We click on pages. We're going to add a new page called maintain, right? We're going to publish it and then go back to our dashboard. Go have one breakdance, go to settings and then click on maintenance page, maintenance mode. Okay. So over here, what we want to do is to click over here. You see that page that we just created is right over here. And then we're going to save it. So if let's say someone was supposed to come on our page, but let's do more, right? Let's add a few things. Let's click on the page again and then click on edit with breakdance. We're just going to test it and see. All right. So over here, we're just going to add a section. Make sure that the section is size width is full and then the height is also viewport. And then in here, we're going to add. Um, a heading text for the heading text. We're just going to type in coming soon. All right. Click on the section. Go on layout. Let's make everything like Sunday. And then click on the text. Make sure that the text give you like, um, let's say 72. 72 is a bit small. This is good. Uh, and then we're going to change this one to 300. All right. That is good. Let's save this. And then let's copy, let's say we go to the front page. All right, I'm just going to make sure that I remove that. I copy the website name. It goes to incognito and then type in this. So you can see that our coming soon page is now ready. If someone is to come to our website, they are not going to see the work that we are doing. But they're able to see a page that tells them, gives them like a little information coming soon or we are under maintenance. So these are five things that I believe are really important before you even start doing any work with breakdance. These are five things that you should make sure that you have covered. If you cover these five things, your workflow, you are on the right path to creating an amazing beautiful and also making sure that your work is hassle free. You don't want to be thinking about stuff that, oh, have I done this and have I done that? 
All right. Um, I hope this was uh, insightful. If you loved um, this video and you want to watch more, we have a ton of videos on this um, YouTube page. Make sure you click on some and then see if there's anything that will be knowledgeable for you. As always, my name is Nyako. This is Obi Studios. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do that. Bye.